Hey guys, Gary Dean, DetailJuice.com. Before I get into the video, I just want to say, here we go again. Another, uh, this is a Tropical Storm Nicole rolling through Tampa, Florida right now. Well, actually it's supposed to be coming through tomorrow, but this is the crazy high winds and the rain that we were supposed to be getting. We're gonna get that this evening and then all throughout tomorrow. But today, I wanna show you guys something I've been working on for a while. And as you guys, well, a lot of you guys know, I am now a certified window tinner. I've taken an online school. I also did two weeks in person with my buddy who tents all of my cars or used to. And uh, so I got a great hang of it. I've probably done about 10 or 15 paying jobs so far, but I started really focusing on glass because we're tinting the glass and we're making the glass look better. I wanted a way to really clean the exterior windows and remove all the water spots and make the glass just clearer. And so what I did was, as I usually do, I went and bought all of the popular ones, all of the ones that everybody raved about, all the acid-based gels and all the water spot removals, uh, basically products that I could find that were out there that all of the people rave about. So we had been developing this polish a few years ago and I kind of got off of it because glass, I don't know, not a lot of people ask about it. But then I started doing more research and talking to people and offering a glass polishing service as part of my services on DetailJuice.com, if you hit the services tab, uh, just to touch on that, InfinityCustomWorks.com will be a, a live in, in the next couple of months. And then that services tab is going to basically redirect to the new services site. But we started developing a polish a while back for glass. It wasn't a huge deal. But I started talking to people that I was doing paint correction for. And turns out, who would know? They want the glass polish too. If you show them the water spots and you show them why, and you give them a reason to buy, they generally do. So with that said, my glass polish is finally absolutely amazing and ready to go. So with that said, I'm going to show you a little demo and I'm gonna show you some results. So check this out. All right, so here's the new glass polish. You're gonna use these felt pads. Uh, it's gonna be a kit. You're gonna get uh, the pads with the polish and likely I will offer a three inch backing plate for a drill so that everybody can use it. But these are three inch felt pads. Uh, this is what I recommend that you use. Um, you've got two options for if you're a pro detailer. I, I like these HC Delco tools. When I say I like them, that's like bare bottom bones for will I use it sometimes, maybe. That's when I like something. So this tool is not bad. Uh, it is far less expensive than the next option. But if you're not doing heavy duty work or you're just getting into detailing and you want to offer glass polishing service, I recommend this polisher because it is inexpensive and very functional. Uh, you will not get the results by hand that you can get with a machine like these uh, rotary polishers, this three inch rotary, uh, and the felt pads with the polish. So with that said, this is a great starting route to get into it. This is the AC Delco ARS 1214. Comes with these little batteries. This is a uh, two amp hour lithium battery. And like I said, works great unless you're using it on a boat hull in which case it will burn up fast and it's a complete piece of garbage however works great for glass works great for transoms if you're not a heavy duty heavy duty user like me if you're gonna if you're gonna invest in something that you want that you you know you want to last and has more power that functions properly and is really a great investment this milwaukee this is a 2438-20 Milwaukee three inch rotary polisher, just like this AC Delco unit. 
Uh, they do not use the same batteries. Um, they are different. The backing plates are very similar. The bodies are very similar, but the motor in this is far superior to this. Uh, in fact, I burned up three of these AC Delcos before I ever purchased a Milwaukee and I'm still on the first one. And let me just show you this. This is my home garage and look at this. I have a brand new one sitting right there. I was like, okay, I've been going through uh, the smaller ones or I've been going through the AC Delcos. This is a couple extra batteries and a charger for it as well. But anyway, I figured I'd be burning those up too. So I haven't burned the first Milwaukee unit up period. So that is a far superior unit. And this is what I'd recommend if you're going to make any kind of purchase, just do this once and you're good. But if you just don't want to spend the money, the AC Delco tool works great. In fact, that's what I used on this glass. So I don't know if you can tell in this overcast, but this glass is crazy pitted. It has all kinds of staining on it. And just from years of, of abuse, and you can see I'm actually gonna do this window so you can see what's going on. But this, I've got tons and tons of spots, etchings, and all of that. I'm hoping that you can see it. But look, nasty, and then look at this. I don't know if you can see, yeah. Okay, now you can see the line. See that line? That was the tape line. I taped it right here. You see how crisp and clear this side is and how nasty that side is? Well, I've polished this and wiped it off with a towel. That's it. Now you can see the definitive line there where I polished this side and not that side. So with that said, how I generally would do this, I'm going to attempt it with one hand. You see I got the felt pad on here and I have been using it. So now what I'm going to do All right. You don't want to overload the pad that's for sure i'm hoping you can see some of this nastiness in the window i'm just going to do a section right here in the middle so you can see it i usually recommend that this uh, polisher is on low and it doesn't take a lot of effort to really get this glass looking tip top but you just work it, work it, work it. Just like you would use any real polish, I guess. I mean, as far as my polishes go, I you don't want to overwork them. And this is no, like, this is not a exception to the rule by any means. Uh, it is already super clear. I'm just gonna go over it just one last pass. Hit it one more time just because so just went over it nothing fancy okay now I'm gonna take a damp towel and just wipe it off okay so I got all the residue off now I'm gonna come in here and just give it up just a solid wipe guys i don't know if you can tell you can see all the spots all around it but not right in the center where i did it there you go that might be a good angle you see all these drips and nastiness all that crap over there on that window but look at that center perfectly clear perfectly clear guys so there'll be a kit with the polish and um, this two ounce bottle, I'm probably gonna offer a two ounce kit because this two ounce bottle will do like 10 cars. It's stupid how little you need to get results like this and like this. So anyway, that's my new glass polish. Uh, I am ecstatic at the extra money that it brings when I do it for my customers. Uh, I will add though, I highly recommend when you're using this stuff to tape off all your trim. You wanna tape everything off because anytime a rotary polisher is involved, you get that forced rotation, you're potentially going to damage the trim. And I did that right here. I can probably get a lot of that out, but tape your trim. I actually taped 
the top, the side, and then I had that tape line over there. My dumb ass didn't tape that, and now it looks like poo. I'll fix it, no big deal. But anyway, I wanted to give you guys a demo. I wanted to let you know about this new stuff. Oh my goodness, guys, look at this. Look at the clarity there and the poo-poo there. Game changer. I charge 50 bucks a window. Oh, well, I mean, you know, so like this would be 50 bucks. This would be 50 bucks. This would be 50 bucks. I mean, you, I, I will give a package deal uh, for all the glass, but if it's just one or two, uh, it's about 50 bucks. Oh, if not, not 50 bucks, guys. 50 bucks. Sorry, yes dropping f-bombs on accident who does that i always do it on purpose oh yeah you can really see that big patch in the center anyway i won't bore you with any more of this is 11 minutes in so brand new glass polish brand new felt pads take your pick on what machine you must use a machine you absolutely can use a dual action polisher with a three inch pad on or a three inch backing plate for sure you will not get the same work out of a DA polisher you do with a, with a rotary. That's why when you're glass polishing, I highly recommend one of these two tools. There are other ones on the market. These are just the two that I have tried. I'm a big Chevy guy and AC Delco makes the parts. Uh, so uh, I'm talking about the AC Delco, which is here, and I'm pointing at the Milwaukee. Either way, this is a beast. I highly recommend it. If you don't want to spend the money, you can spend, I think it's about $100 less and get this one. But glass polish, check, done deep. From what I have seen on the market today, there is nothing better than this, period. And I have tested every single thing I could get my hand on. And there's all kinds of stuff out there, just like everything else. It, fe it seems like any more, since pre-COVID, even even before COVID, but now it's even worse. I feel like manufacturers are just splitting hairs, trying desperately to try to get you guys to buy all kinds of whatever they can get you to buy. And they're just putting out just half-ass quality stuff. <coughs> this is not half-ass quality. It's awesome. It uses our custom tempered abrasives that we're using in all the smart polishes uh smart cut smart finish impeccable polish adapt smart polish all of those uh including universal all-in-one all of them have have our special custom tempered abrasive this has extra abrasives in it extra stuff for glass uh like cerium oxide uh and a few other ceramics that are proprietary to us in the blend you're not going to find anything better than this i know that because i've just tried it all this is the best stuff that i could find to use it's making my windows look amazing it'll make yours look amazing too um you know i guess your results could vary i'm not sure how or why but for sure you want some of this stuff if you're looking to polish glass or make your glass well look better so Check out Gary Dean's Detail Juice Nation. It's a group on Facebook where we talk about all my products, my processes, and what I've got going on. I will absolutely be doing a promo with this stuff. I might do it this week, but really, I'm going to be... It might be a part of the buy tiers. I don't know. On the Thanksgiving through Cyber Monday sale that we're having in a couple of weeks. Now, this is the biggest sale of the year we do. It's the biggest percentage off. And we give you the best free stuff for your buy tiers. So spend X amount of dollars after the discount, you get whatever buy tier you committed to. So if you if there's a buy tier at $100, $200, $300, $400, you get over that $100 mark, you get everything that I've listed in the group under tier one for free. Uh, I haven't completely nailed them all down yet, but there's a plan. So anyway, Thanksgiving through Cyber Monday sale, this stuff, will be a part of it in some way, but I will do a promo in my group, Gary Dean's Detail Juice Nation. It's a group on Facebook, get in there. We talk about all my products, my processes, and what I got going on. I'll do a promo on that this week. So uh, if you're interested in this glass polish, it is absolutely amazing. And I'll do a promo 
uh, this week on this particular polish. It is awesome. Of course, I guess I would say that. I could talk to you until I'm blue in the face. I just want you guys to use it. Tell me how you love it. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys, and check out the sale. Check out the polish. Check out all the new stuff that we're launching March 1st, 2023. And come back for more videos because I got a lot more to share with you about things that are coming, what's going on, the new shop build, all of that. You're going to want to stay tuned. Thank you guys for watching. You want this stuff. Have a great day.